In today's video, I'm going to tell you guys about a bunch of Blender collections or libraries which are very useful and popular in the Blender community. And these libraries or collections of assets are about vehicles of all sorts. So if you're working on projects that require fast sport cars, off-roading trucks or futuristic sci-fi vehicles, these collections and libraries are here to make your life easier and save you a lot of time because they are made with high quality, in addition, they are rigged so you can start animating right away. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Before we continue, I wanted to let you know guys that the Blender Market is having right now a huge summer sale with 25% discount on thousands of Blender products from add-ons, courses, shaders, you name it. Also, if you don't know where to start, I have in the description of this video a list of the best add-ons and courses that can take your projects to the next level. So without further ado, let's jump right in. And we're gonna start with Traffic, which is a fantastic add-on for everyone looking to add realistic and optimized vehicles to their projects. This one actually is very popular and it is created by a popular developer, so you don't have anything to worry about. As I said before, if you are trying to make a busy city street, a quiet suburban neighborhood, or a dynamic highway scene, then this add-on I think has you covered with a Gremlin library of high quality assets and vehicles. And the good thing the latest update of Traffic 2.1 brings a lot of value to the table because it adds 10 new emergency vehicles, a utility vehicle, and a service vehicle, all equipped with customizable emergency lights. And by the way, I forgot to tell you that the full library includes all different cars, supercars, classic ones, and contemporary cars, in addition to nine bicycles and motorcycles. This in addition to utility vehicles and public transport. But to fill the scenes with additional assets, you have 250 traffic signs and street items. And the best part is, if you want to create something on the water or in the sky, you have four watercrafts and six aircrafts. So I think it will cover a lot of your needs. Also with the new update, you can now adjust the speed, offset, and flicker of vehicle lights through an improved user interface, giving you more control over the look and feel of your scenes. The developers also added decals and fixed bumps on older vehicles, making everything look smoother and more detailed. But it doesn't stop there. Traffic now includes animated traffic lights via shape keys, adding even more realism and dynamic elements to your animations. And the best part is that the update also features optimized topology on all new assets, and car paint materials have been upgraded and integrated into the material library whenever possible. So after exploring the versatile options in traffic, let's shift gears to car transportation, which is all about simplifying your vehicle-related projects inside Blender. And I can say that because this add-on offers a comprehensive library of over 78 rigged high-definition vehicle models. And just like the previous add-on, this one is also from a popular developer, just so you know the quality is great. And the assets range from sleek SUVs to sport cars and airplanes in addition to motorcycles and even boats. And you will honestly find everything you will need to bring your scenes to life, but of course with machines, not nature assets. Anyways, car transportation isn't just about vehicles, because it also comes packed with shaders and with over 65 HDRIs and 300 backplates to help you create photorealistic renders in no time. And if you prefer cycles or EV, this add-on is optimized for both, ensuring smooth performance in addition to great results. Also, one of the standout features of car transportation is a super user-friendly interface, because this add-on is all about being intuitive and easy to navigate as you can see. And for a lot of people, this is an important point, that's why I wanted to mention it. Now, what I really like about the add-on is that it comes with a couple of handy features, for example, you can quickly snap vehicles to the ground, customize car paint with over 70 preset shaders, or even create your own using metallic, matte, and glossy presets. Also one important thing, the rigged vehicles feature lets you animate cars and other vehicles. And for larger scenes or background elements, car transportation offers both HD and low quality versions, I mean of the vehicles, which is something for sure is gonna help you maintain performance without sacrificing quality. Also, I need to mention that these models come with clean topology and beautiful meshes, which is really incredible to have. 
After diving into car transportation, let's now shift gears to the Mega Fleet, which is a very interesting vehicle library that is all about giving you tools to create stunning and realistic scenes. And this is noticeable from the quality as you can see. So, with over 160 crafted vehicles in its collection, this item covers everything from vintage, classics, to the latest models, making it a very interesting source if you need vehicles and create scenes that need those kind of things. Now, what makes this add-on more interesting is its integration with the rig car add-on. This means that all vehicles come pre-rigged and ready for animation, so you can bring them to life with motions like rotating vehicles, ground detection, and directional control, and all those little details to make your animations and scenes more believable, and most importantly, to save you a lot of time and headache of rigging and making those cars and vehicles ready for animation projects. And I'm sure you know the struggle. And as I said, this library is interesting, but the thing that is interesting even more is the customizability and its simplicity. With three preset car paint options, metallic, matte, and glossy. So you can tweak the look of your vehicles to something that can fit your scene. In addition, the add-on includes a software package featuring some iconic rides like the Tesla Model Y, BMW 3 CS, and the Ferrari 296 GTB. Unlike the previous libraries and add-ons, this one is also optimized for cycles and EV. Following up on the expensive mega fleet, we have now to talk about the heavy fleet, which is a collection of trucks, trailers, and semi-trucks, so I think the name makes more sense now. So far, on the blender market at least, I can see that this add-on or library is one of the largest and most comprehensive, especially for heavy vehicles. So, as you might have guessed, if you're trying to create scenes with heavy-duty vehicles, then this collection is probably one of the best choices you can find out there, especially as a Blender user. Generally speaking, the add-on is intuitive and user-friendly, and even newcomers can navigate it really easily, as they should. All you have to do is open the end panel and dive into the Heavy Fleet tab, where you can customize and add new vehicles. Like its counterpart, the Mega Fleet, this add-on allows you to create custom paint colors for your vehicles, with presets including metallic, matte, and glossy finishes. And one of the best features about this add-on or library is that all the vehicles come rigged, just like the previous add-ons, thanks to its integration with the free rigged car add-on. And for me personally, having a car or vehicle rigged has become kind of a must because a lot of people want to save time and go straight to animation and finish their projects, just like you and me. Last but not least, I'm going to talk about Blender Kid Vehicle Library. This one is really interesting and can be considered a gem for anyone looking to enhance their projects using high quality vehicles. This is the case because Blender Kit can be a fantastic resource packed with a diverse range of vehicle models. As you can see, the gallery has something to suit every project. And what makes Blender Kit even more appealing is how easy it is to integrate it into Blender. You can search, download, and drop these vehicles directly into your project without even leaving Blender, which is a huge time saver. Plus, many of the models come with customizable materials and textures, so you can tweak them with ease using a couple of sliders. And the interesting thing is that with the Blender Kit, you can get your hands on many free assets of vehicles and cars. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in one of those assets or libraries, you can find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.